This is Paul from Electric Scooter Guide. I'm gonna show you one of the cheapest and easiest mods that you can do to your electric scooter. You don't need any tools and you don't even need to take the wheels or tires off the scooter to do this. If you have a scooter that goes faster than 20 miles per hour, balancing the tires is gonna make the scooter smoother, more stable, and slightly faster because the energy that was being used to shake your scooter to pieces is now gonna help you accelerate forward just a little faster. The technique I'm gonna show you is based on what I learned in five and a half years of road racing motorcycles and over a decade of owning my own shop. Here's what you're gonna need. A milk crate or a box or anything to get both wheels off the ground at the same time. A box of wheel weights. These are seven grams, but five grams are even better if you can find them and we'll put a link to these in the description. A roll of duct tape and some double-sided adhesive might come in handy too and I'll explain why later. Two different things can cause your scooter to shake. One is the tires being out of round and the other one is the tires being out of balance. Out of round you'll be able to see at any speed because the tires will just move like this and then out of balance you'll only see that when the tires are at speed. So being out of round can show up at any speed and this is not an unusual amount of that but being out of balance typically only shows up at high speed. So most types of being out of round, there's nothing you can do about, but there is one kind that you can fix. The way you check for that is check this little line and how it sits relative to the wheel. If it's even all the way around like this one is, then your tire is fully seated and it's as good as it's gonna get in terms of how round the tire is. If this line has sucked down underneath the rim, then you might be able to fix that by letting the air out and reseating the bead. And that's a subject for another video. All right, so let's get started balancing. Take two weights and we're gonna stick them opposite of the stem because the stem is usually the heavy part of the wheel. We're not gonna be too careful because this is not the final installation of these weights. Okay, I do need to stick them out hard enough so they're gonna stay put while I test this out. Now we spin the wheel and see, is that better or worse? Now I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees clockwise here, stick it on and do a quick test. Is that better or worse? And that was the best yet. Now I'm gonna go back to the original spot and go 90 degrees counterclockwise from there and see if this is better or worse. And be careful, the more time you use these weights, the more likely they are to fly off. And that is much worse. This is the worst yet. So that tells me that my previous position, the opposite of that, was probably the best spot so far. I'm gonna go back to the best spot and we're gonna fine tune. Now, instead of going 90 degrees, we're gonna go 45 degrees plus and 45 degrees minus and see which spot is the best. Here's 45 minus. And that's not quite as good. Now, we're gonna take those off, go back to the original spot and go 45 degrees plus. Ah, now that feels the smoothest yet. So now we've found our spot, it's time to fine tune. We've got two weights on. I'm gonna take one off and see if that's better or worse. So one weight instead of two in this spot didn't feel quite as good. So we're gonna go the other direction and try adding a weight instead of taking one away. and that feels the best so far. Now you can just keep going with this until you find the weight that works the best. And in fact, you might go beyond and then come back one. In this case, I've already done that and I know that three is the correct number of weights for this wheel. So all I'm going to do now is permanently mount them on the wheel. Mark your spot, take the weights off, give that spot a really good clean to help the adhesive stick. And then since you get more weights in a box than you're gonna use in a lifetime, Grab a brand new set so the adhesive is going to be as strong as possible. And we'll do the final installation. Mash it down really hard. Here's where the extra double-sided tape might come in handy. Due to the curvature of the wheel, sometimes these flat weights have a hard time sticking really well, and using another layer of really strong double-sided adhesive can help them really stick in there. The other thing that really helps them stick is exactly what car racers and motorcycle racers have been doing for years, and that's to put a layer of duct tape on the outside. Uh, sounds kind of funky, but you know, use stuff that matches the color of your wheel, and it'll look okay.
I only stuck two on this side, and the reason is I'm gonna take the other one and stick it on the other side. We wanna get the wheel as balanced in all directions as we can. If you have four, obviously two on one side and two on the other, but with three, you do the best you can. Clean. And then when we're all done, we just check the final balance to make sure everything's smooth. Here we are at the same speed where it was the worst before, which is about 31 miles per hour. Assuming you've got a dual motor scooter, you're gonna need to do the same technique to the rear wheel. And then when you're done, it should end up like this. If you have a single motor scooter, apply this technique to the wheel that has the motor on it. And then for the other wheel, make sure it's spinning freely. You may need to loosen up the brakes to do that. And then go check out some videos on YouTube about how to static balance a motorcycle wheel. And the same technique will apply. Let me know in the comments if you tried this and how it worked out for you. And if you have any other techniques that you like better. Also, let us know what sort of how-to videos you'd like to see us tackle next.